Hey y'all, what's going on? This is Jesse Both from the 19th Hole, and we're going to do a quick rookie playthrough here for you all for the Southern Pines 9 Hole Cup. Um, holes 1 through 9, we'll talk about club selection, uh, different ways to play the holes, and ball selection. Also, whether or not you need, uh, you need to uh, factor in any kind of elevation change uh, into your wind for your shots. So we'll start out with hole number 1 here. And we'll go ahead and get started. As you see, entry feeds for the 9-hole cup, uh, many tournament have been cut. It's only 5,000 to enter the rookie, but it is still 1,000 per um, game. So that hasn't changed. Just the entry fee portion has changed. So hole number one, you have a couple options. You go left, which is more conservative, or you can go right, uh, which would probably require um, a power three ball and an extra mile, um, possibly a little bit of overpower as well. I don't plan on using any high um, power three or expensive balls in this tournament, um, but I just want to kind of show you all here. No, actually, yeah. So as you can see, power three ball would make it quite easily, and that would set you up for um, a shot with your thorn or your, your backbone. We're going to go ahead and just play Quasar here, um, and we're going to play it pretty much straight up here. So 4.5 wind is going to give us two rings of adjustment here. Adjust our shot two rings, and then we'll take our shot. This shot is going to put us up the fairway and put us in position uh, with our Viper. And we'll be using our Viper for the second shot. So we'll see what our opponent does here. He's got an extra mile six, a Katana ball. Um, and with a four, four wind, he won't have to overpower this one much, about halfway overpower. He definitely doesn't need to use full overpower. But that will be a nice shot right there. Anything perfect or great left will be okay. And that's how you would play that shot right there. That was well executed. And you see an extra mile six and a katana ball to make the shot. So definitely wanted you all to see that. All right, so if we're playing to the left, we're playing with our um, Viper. Play a 5% elevation change, slightly downhill as you can see right there. And we're not going to play our shot from over here. We're going to play our shot from, well, let's see. We will play our shot from over here. Right here off the edge here. We're going to go with uh, 1.5 top and 2 right spin. And we'll go with 2.2, just a little bit under uh, max. And this should be okay. Um, this was a tough hole uh, to hold, the green. And a little bit too much power there. So we went. I would probably take that shot with not as much top spin for sure. Maybe uh, subtract. Um, go with zero topspin for that shot right there. It's definitely a tough hole because if you go with too little um, or if you go with backspin you may end up falling off to the left hand side of the green uh, and whether or not, you know, wherever you are it's most likely going to be some sort of a chip uh, on this hole. So, you know, I would rather be chipping from the top section of the green um, as opposed to the lower left section. And as you see, he has a pretty nice shot there. Um, definitely a good chance at the eagle. I would definitely aim that shot at the right-hand edge of the hole um, on that shot. So, easy little, easy chip here. As you can see, we do have a headwind, so we do want to make sure that we, we give this one enough juice. And there we go. So starting out with the birdie, we'll be back for hole number two in just a second. Before we do we move on to the second hole, I do want to say one quick thing about that second shot. I went with a little bit of top spin. Um, if you're going to play the shot located, you know where I played it to the left side of that bunker. In that case, I wouldn't play any uh, any top spin. But if you are going to play a skip shot where you go over the bunker. Uh, I would definitely, you know, continue to go with that 1.5 bars of topspin. Um, that way you do have the 
a needed power to roll that ball up through the green towards the hole. But if you play the shot like I played it, uh, zero topspin will probably be required. So just wanted to make that clear. Um, there is, you know, there would be a situation where that topspin would be needed. And that's if you go over that bunker with the skip shot. All right, y'all, so we're going to play hole number one here and uh, par four. We're going to play this one. Uh, we do have an extra mile six, and we are going to play it to the right side and uh, try to show you all the uh, the way to play it to the right side. And, uh, you know, this is a shot that can be made over power with extra mile five as well. But, uh, you know, I would definitely re recommend going up on Powerball, uh, at least level two, uh, even level three Titan if you have it. You're going to see my opponent here playing with level 5, extra mile. And, uh, you know, plenty of room if he goes full over power. So even half over power would probably be okay on this shot with the Titan ball. So let's see how he goes. I would aim his shot a little bit farther left uh, on the aim if I was him. All right, he's adjusting a little bit. And great left is okay. Great right is bad on this shot. Perfect shot is perfect. <laughs> So he should be in pretty good position right here. Because as you see, he lands with plenty of room to spare. And uh, he's going to put himself in a good position for his second shot now. Alright, so let's see what we got here for our shot. Uh, 10%, 2.9. And we're going to play, uh, you know, landing somewhere right about in here. Where we want to land. So full top spin and three left spin is what we're going to go. So we go a little bit over power is what we need for this shot. Not too much, but a little bit. Get great to the right. Uh, we did put a little bit of curl in the shot. So you know that, that's probably going to save us here. But that's going to put us up the fairway pretty decently. I got a little bit of left curl in the shot just because in case you do hit great right, that kind of, you know, will offset that mistake. So for our second shot here, it is a tad uphill, um, as you can see, you know, a tad bit uphill. So we're going to play a 5%, a minus 5% on the shot. And it looks like we're going to be uh, hitting it with our thorn here. So we we'll go three bars of backspin. And we're going to aim the shot right there towards the right-hand edge of the hole. So 3.6 max level thorn is going to be 1.8 rings of adjustment here. So let's see how this one comes in. Hit perfect. The bounce, the roll, and pretty close right there. Um, so aimed it at the cup, had a better chance, but looks like we still missed even with uh, it at the cup. I do like the three backspin though with a thorn uh, for that shot. And, uh, you know, I would, I would probably use the same amount for, you know, a backbone or um, a goliath as well. So, all right, y'all, that's uh, hole number one going to the right side. And uh, we'll have hole number two next. All right, so we got hole number two here, par three. Um, we'll play this one with the Viper, 10% elevation change. And we're playing this one with the Katana Ball. This one, we want the extra side spin. You could also play this one with the Quasar as well and just use a little bit more curl instead. Alright, so with the cut down ball, we'll go full right spin, no top spin. We use the, uh, the top of this uh, shadow right here for our um, yellow ring, and then we put about half the red ring into the, the rough. We adjust for our wind. We'll go uh, two rings here. And we'll type it over two. And then we're going to use uh, about a half ball curl. And we'll see what this one does. I think the most important thing to keep in mind here is the... Um, that looks like we went a little bit too far here on this one. Still end up in a, a decent position, but we went just like a smudge too far up that ridge. Um, a couple yards less up that ridge, and that would have been a really good chance at the ace. <clears throat> uh, 
But anyways, anyways, so uh, that's definitely how I would play that shot. Uh, still, as with no uh, with no spin, you want a full right spin. And uh, I think what we will do differently is we'll just aim that shot, you know, the landing spot back just a little bit um, next time on that approach. All right, that's hole number two. We'll be back for hole number three. All right, so we got hole number three here, par five. This is a hole where uh, you want to hit the ball as far down the right-hand side as you can. And uh, whether that means your extra mile or even a big topper, you definitely want to use a power three ball because the, uh, the distance you get off the tee definitely will uh, it'll put you in a possible position for probably getting an eagle on this hole. So this is what it looks like with the extra mile, um, but I'm going to use the big topper here. So we'll go full top spin, and I am actually going to aim my shot here right down the middle. We'll overpower, and you know, with such a huge fairway, you know, you can afford to be great left or great right. But that's why I aim my shot uh, right down the middle so that I can afford myself that opportunity to either be great left or great right and be okay. You know, because keep in mind the big topper does have a pretty um, junky accuracy to it. Alright, so second shot, it's important to have your <clears throat> big dog. Now there's really not a whole lot we can do as far as jumping our shot over there. Um, but we can try to play it off to the right side here. And try to kind of go around the right hand side here. So let's see, three wind, 1.3. I have to go with some more power. I'm going to use some left curl on this shot. And see if we can sneak this one around. Oh, we just hit the rough. Alright, so it would have been interesting to see where that shot would have gone if we didn't hit the rough. Um, we did just barely catch the rough right there on that shot. But we're still going to be in decent position for a possible, you know, shot with our thorn at the hole. Um, you know, basically playing with rookie clubs in this hole, no matter what you do, uh, unless you are able to make that perfect shot around that right hand edge and able to get up there on the green or on the fringe of the green, uh, you're going to be left with a difficult shot. Even playing up there to the green, you can possibly go through and roll into the rough. So just leaving yourself in any position where you have a chance uh, to drop this eagle is definitely a good play in my opinion. So we got the thorn here, 3.3, and we're actually going to go for the top here. Full back spin here, and 0.8 ring is our adjustment. Uh, we hit it great. So, as you see, we missed it. But with that backspin, we leave ourselves, you know, a really easy birdie putt. Um, I would say, like, a, a shot like that where I was at, uh, where you were just in between clubs, um, I would definitely say the the dunk is your best chance to eagle that. Uh, I definitely wouldn't want to be taking max range, um, you know, <clears throat> firefly shots. Uh, so definitely, you know, a min-range thorn dunk is your best chance. It's a very small adjustment. You just want to aim that shot kind of into the uh, the back of the hole, and then uh, adjust for your adjust for your wind. And let's see what my opponent does here. He uh, elected to play his shot short at the end of the first fairway, and he went a little bit long, so. All right, y'all. See you on the next hole. All right, we got hole number three here, uh, par five. 
you can play this one off the tee box with extra mile or big topper. Uh, you just really want to use whichever club you feel is going to get you the farthest down the fairway. Um, I would definitely recommend going with the power three ball at least to tighten. Uh, you know, this may be a hole where if you do have power four balls, uh, you know, it could be possibly used, you know, for this shot. Uh, although I don't know that I would 100% recommend it, you know, just because it's a usage of that ball. So for this shot right here, we're going to play full over power. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim off to the right side here. And I'm actually going to play kind of like a mini hook. <clears throat> For whatever reason, to me, it feels easier, uh, you know, to overpower and miss a shot, you know, left, and rather than, you know, hit a full overpower perfect shot. I don't know, I guess it's easier just to mess up on purpose than to be perfect. But uh, it's a great way to, you know, get your ball pretty far down the fairway. So definitely a little bit of a tip there if you want to, uh, to use that. We're going to be using the um, big topper. I'm not the big topper, the big dog for our second shot. And, um, you know, for the second shot, you're going to play, you know, still a little bit downhill. So we'll play a plus 5% for our, our big dog. And we'll see what kind of position we're in. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're still going to have to play our shot to the right. But, you know, since we're playing that shot to the left side of the fairway, that may open up open up a chance for us to play it to the left side as well. So we'll have to wait and see. My opponent elects to play to the left side, which is definitely, you know, not a bad play. But it's really going to be tough to get in position for an eagle chance playing that way. But definitely a pretty safe way to play for a birdie over there. So let's see what we got here, 4.2. Um, Alright, so actually here, we're actually going to play this shot over here to the left. I'm going to play full right spin and three back spin. We're going two rings automatically, so we're going to get up about there. So we need to go over power on this shot. And let's see what that one does. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Alright. So, you know, if you don't have, you know, if you don't have the confidence to try to make a shot like that, uh, you know, I would definitely either choose to play it left of that bunker or to the right side of that bunker. Um, if you're on the right side of that fairway off the drive, you definitely want to play to the right side of that bunker. And really, you just want to either you know, move it up the right hand side of that bunker and try to get it on the fringe or on the green. If you're on the left hand side of the fairway, you know, you may want to jump over the, the far left hand edge of that bunker and just try to get it right up there along the edge of that green for a chip uh, or possibly, you know, get it on the green and it will roll back down to the hole for an, uh, an eagle putt. But those are definitely your options on this hole. Uh, it's definitely a very tough eagle hole in the, uh, in the rookie. Uh, especially if you have lower level rookie clubs. So definitely, you know, make sure to put yourself in position to get that birdie uh, at the very least. All right, y'all, catch you on uh, hole number four, next hole. All right, next hole we got is hole number four here, par four. And your two options are you play it left or to the right. If you're going to play it to the right side, uh, it's going to take uh, at least a Titan ball um, or a Katana ball to make the shot with the extra mile. And it's going to be tough unless you have an extra mile with some good curl. Your other option would be playing with a Titan ball and a quarterback to the right side. Um, and that's definitely a much uh, safer option probably if you want to play it to the right side. is because you have that extra curl uh, with the quarterback. Now my opponent here is trying with an extra mile four and a, a Quasar ball. It's very possible to make this shot, but you've really got to cheat close to this right-hand edge. And let's see how it goes here. Uh, that bunker does tend to come in play a lot. And it's going to come into play for him. And that's where a lot of people are going to go with lower level extra mile in this shot. So if you want to play to the right, definitely would recommend playing with the quarterback. Um, I'm going to play it to the to the left. Full top spin and right spin. 
and we're just trying to get down this fairway as best as we can. Great left's okay. Uh, don't want to go too far, you know, great left. But uh, you're really just trying to get down this fairway as good as we can here. And uh, we did go a little bit too far. So we'll see what kind of a shot we have for our second shot here. So for our second shot here, let's see what we got. We've got the razor in. And really what we're going to have to do is a rough bump here. It looks like, you know, definitely is doable. So that's good to know that we can get up there still with the rough bump. Uh, and it's a pretty favorable wind, actually. We're just going to play a one-to-one -one here for this uh, shot. With the razor. And we are able to put ourselves up there for an easy birdie. Um, so if you do go deep there, you know, it is good to have the razor uh, in for that shot. If you don't have a razor, you know, you can probably reach with, uh, you know, a low-level Nirvana even as well, low-level Roadrunner if you have one of those as well. Um, but you do want to make sure that you have your rough club with the best distance in for the shot on that hole just in case you do go deep. So as you see, my opponent here uh, still has a chance here to sink it for the uh, the birdie. Let's see if he can do it. It's actually a, a fairly decent position to be in. Let's see, perfect. Come on, hit a perfect. Give yourself a chance, buddy. Oh. All right, so we got hole number five here, part three. Um, ten percent plus ten percent adjustment for the elevation change on this hole. Uh, quasar ball, and um, I would recommend quarterback, but you could also play this hole with the uh, extra mile if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to play about three bars of backspin and max left spin. Um, I would not play this shot from the left side with the right to left tailwind. You know, if we had a left to right tailwind, it definitely would be a possibility. Um, playing it off the middle island is definitely a possibility as well in the rookie. Um, probably your best chance at an ace, um, but definitely a very difficult shot. And one that, uh, you know, if you're not accurate with the shot, can definitely uh, turn out badly. Uh, my opponent's shot right there ended up not being too bad. Um, but you do really like that left to right win to play that shot. So I'm going to play the shot from the right side. Here, uh, with the quasar ball, like I said, we're gonna go with max left spin, and three back spin, and we're playing this shot at min, as you can see here. So we're only gonna play about 2.7 uh, rings here. We're gonna use a good amount of curl, 2.7, and we're gonna use at least we're gonna use a full ball of curl here. We hit this one perfect, and let's see how this one comes in. Pretty good here, and it's a very tough hole to get the ace on. Um, almost impossible to get the ace on. I have seen a few people do it, though. Uh, but that's definitely a good shot right there. So we'll take that. Um, to get the ace, you got to come in a little bit more uh, in a line towards the hole um, and use the slope more behind the hole. To hopefully get that roll, this ball to roll back down to the hole. Uh, the farther right you land that shot on the green, the less chance you have to get the ace, but you definitely will, you know, have an easy birdie. So, all right, good luck to you all. We'll see you on hole number six. All right, so we got hole number six here. This is the uh, revamped hole number six for Southern Pines. And I brought the extra mile on the big dog and then the quarterback in the big dog. I want to see what the quarterback looks like going to the left side uh, and see if it's a possible shot to play left. Um, and if it's doable, then I'll talk about why I, I wanted to see. There is a possibility to play this shot to the right side as well. And we'll see if my opponent plays to the right, which I hopefully he does. Okay. Um, if I was going to play this shot here, I would either skip it uh, to that second fairway with a little topspin. Uh, or like my opponent's going to play it, you know, you want to play it with the backspin. 
Now, what that will leave for him, if he's able to pull the shot off, will be a second shot uh, towards the green. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure on how um, how good of a shot it will be towards the green. We're going to play our shot. Oh, he's really short. He really needs to be up to the top right edge of that fairway, I believe, uh, to have a good realistic shot at the green in two. All right, so let's see what we got here. Um, taking a Titan ball. And it looks like we can play this shot. Okay, yeah. So we can play this shot with the quarterback. Uh, I definitely like the quarterback because it gives me um, the accuracy and the option to be more precise on my shot. We will play this with 10% uh, elevation change. And let's see where this one rolls. Hopefully uh, the ball guide is not lying to us. Nope. So that's going to be perfect. So um, the advantage of the quarterback over the extra mile on this shot playing left is the ball guide and the accuracy. You can be much more precise on where you're going to put that shot. Now, you know, do you need to be that, um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Do you need to be that risky with that shot, with that much top spin? No. Um, but I wanted to kind of push it and see what would happen if I did do it. So it was good to see that we can make that shot and be safe from that uh, that rough. But yeah, I would definitely, you know, not suggest that you go full top spin there. <clears throat> you can back off one top spin and be okay. But you do use that right spin uh, to kind of wedge that ball into that area of the fairway. So actually, not too bad of a, shot, a shot right there uh, through the trees. Definitely a risky play because those trees are in play. All right, so for this shot here, we're not going to play any. We're not going to play any, you know, adjustment for the uh, elevation. I think it's a pretty flat shot. So let's see here. Max right spin, and we'll try three top spin here. So my shot will be pushed out 1.5. So we pushed out about there, and we're going to use a uh, full right curl. great right hopefully that doesn't cost us to the rough nope and not too bad we'll definitely take that that'll leave us a very easy uh, eagle chip so that's uh, definitely you know two different ways to play hole number six if you play it to the right side uh, or if you play it to the left side I, I don't know that I would recommend hitting it through those trees if I play it to the right side because those trees are in play and that seemed pretty risky on my opponent's part, but uh, it worked out for him. Uh, definitely that left play is definitely the more consistent, safe play though, in my opinion. So, all right, we'll catch you all on hole number seven. All right, so we got hole number six here, par five. Play it to the left side the first time, and we're gonna play it to the right side this time and see what kind of a shot opportunity it gives us for our second shot. Uh, we were able to get to the edge of the green pretty easily going left. But uh, we're going to play it to the to the right side here. We're going to go with a Titan ball here. And see what we got. I'm going to go down to a Quasar. Full backspin and right spin here. And hopefully that's going to be enough to stop us. I'm not sure. Uh, 1.4 will go point. Right, one point four. Now, if this doesn't stop us with this backspin, then we know we have to make the skip shot. Nope, it's going to stop us. Wow, just barely. So, uh, you know, I would definitely probably recommend um, either trying that shot with the quarterback or skipping the shot from that small little fairway over the bunker to that second far right fairway and probably go with a little bit of top spin. Uh, just way too close for my liking uh, to play that shot with full back spin over the um, over the bunker and even with the quasar ball. But at least we'll get a good uh, view of what the second shot looks like from over here. I'm thinking it's probably going to be a pretty easy shot to the green. 
I'm thinking I'm going to skip over the right the bunker, the top right hand side, um, but we'll have to wait and see. Let's see here. <coughs> so either that or player shot through the rough. Ooh. Let's do this shot right here. <coughs> Alright, so we're going to play this shot right here. And we're going to play it with some right curl. I'm left curl. Let's see how this one turns out. Alright, that's not too bad. Alright, that will leave us for a very nice chip shot for the eagle. Alright, we got hole 7 here, par 4. Uh, I'm going to play this one with a big topper. And, you know, you can play it with the extra mile. But if you get a big topper, you can use the big topper as well. It may give you a little bit extra distance up the fairway. And, you know, you don't have to really over worry about overpowering the shot or anything. We're going to play with the Quasar ball. So really all we're trying to do is get this shot up here near the shadow, you know. We'll top spin. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go one left spin here. And you know, just trying to hit this shot up here. Go a little tiny bit over power. Just to a point where you feel comfortable still being able to hit that perfect shot. And you'll see this ball hit, it's just gonna take off. <laughs> and put this up there well done, well into those shadows. So we'll have our second shot here, uh, either long iron or um, a wood. If you do want to play the shot with wood, you really want to make sure that you don't hit your far too far. I would say that you would hit your drive just at the beginning of those shadows if you do want to use your wood and play to the left side of the fairway. So if you don't want to play to the right side of the fairway, you want to play to the left side of that fairway on the drive because that will leave you a much more wide open straight shot to the hole. Uh, you know, and you won't have to deal with this right side rough like my opponent's doing with right now. See, the farther left you are, you know, the more straight onto that hole you will be. Uh, the more right you are, the more you have to deal with this right side in the rough. Not a bad shot right there for my opponent. So let's see what we have here. I'm going to guess we have a backbone shot here. And we are going to play a 10% uphill for the shot. Yeah. So as you can see, you know, I'm middle of the fairway, but I still have kind of, you know, to deal with. Hmm. All right, so we're going to end up playing. This is kind of tough, kind of in between clubs here. We're just going to go ahead and play our, uh, our men here, Viper at men, that's all I can do. I'm going to use a little bit of curl here, not a whole lot. I'm hit it great right, and hopefully that doesn't burn us. Nope. But, you know, we were kind of in between clubs right there, so definitely uh, something to keep in mind when you are making your drive on this fairway. I would definitely, you know, decide whether or not you want to play the long iron or the wood. If you want to go with the wood club for your second shot, then you don't want to play your drive as far up the fairway, but you do want to stay left. If you want to play with the long iron, then you definitely want to get as far up uh, the fairway as you can, past even where I was. So keep that in mind when you decide how you want to play this hole, and we'll catch you all in the next hole. Um, this hole we're going to play with plus 10%. And you're going to play it with a Viper or a Sniper here. Would definitely be the recommended uh, club choice. Uh, I'm going to go with the Quasar Ball here for the side spin. And let's see here. Alright, so like I said, you got your Viper, your Sniper here. Um, you can try to play a curl shot over here with the right spin and, and some right curl. Or you can try to play a shot over here off this little area, which is what we're going to go with here. I'm going to go with uh, 0.5 top spin here 
on this shot and 2.6 um, you can play this shot pretty much the same setup with the um, the Viper as well made it perfect so let's see how this one comes in not too bad right there we will take that shot now if you want to play that shot a little bit more to the left you could possibly use that slope to kind of you know filter that ball back down to the hole but uh, in the rookie I would definitely play this shot you know for the birdie um, you know you get too aggressive on it you could roll through the green and into the rough and uh, that's why I went with half a bar topspin because a full bar topspin would have been much more aggressive and that ball would have rolled a lot more so uh, full left spin, half bar top spin is the way I'd play that with both the Sniper or the Viper. Um, full left spin and just play it with that setup there. You're going to play that one at a medium range adjustment as well for your wind. And plus 10%. Don't forget about the plus 10%. So, alright, catch you on the next hole. Alright, we got last and final hole number 9 here. Um, you can play the shot with the extra mile or big topper. I would definitely recommend Big Topper if you do have it, even if it's only level 1. Uh, the top spin alone is worth uh, using it. I would also go with a Titan Ball. If you have higher level balls that you can manage to use, or, you know, I don't know if I would suggest it, but it's definitely a possibility. So 3.6, that's with a 10% uh, adjustment for elevation. That's 1.5. Full top spin, one bar left spin is what I'm going to play. And you know, even full over power, I should be okay here. So I will use a little bit over power, just enough, uh, you know, not too much, but at a, a place where I feel confident of still being able to hit the perfect shot. So you know that's going to be up to you to judge you know, individually where you feel comfortable overpowering the shot and having a good, uh, you know, chance to still be very accurate on your release. All right, so for the next shot here, we're going to be going with the big dog. Um, you want your second bounce to be in the um, the rough. I'm going to go with four top spin here. So 4.5 is two rings. So from here, you know, we're going to get two rings of about so one, two, right about there. We want our ball to hit about there. So we need to go a little bit over power on this shot, and I'm going to go a little bit of right curl. And hopefully that'll be enough to bump through that rough. It's a very tricky shot in the, uh, in the rookie. And as you see, we didn't have enough. So should have gone with a little bit more over power or a little bit more top spin on that shot. Uh, I probably would, if I had to do over again, I'll go with a little bit more top spin because you just need to be able to get that ball through that uh, that rough. If you don't want to play a lot more topspin, you can just go with a little bit more over power, um, but it's definitely a tough shot to make. And, um, you know, it definitely could be one of those holes where it's risk using the power four ball if you do have them available to use. So let's see what kind of a shot we have here out of the uh, rough here. It's pretty straight on forward shot. As you can see, um, you know it's going to require a perfect hit no matter what you do on the shot. We'll just play it up here like that, <clears throat> and we'll see what it says for the shot. Four point three. It says point four. So just move it to the right edge of the cup. We did hit great to the right, and we missed great to the right. So, anyways, um, definitely a tough second shot to get to that uh, to that eagle, but uh, you know it is what it is, and it's a tough hole to end on. So, all right, y'all, take care. Thanks for joining me for this playthrough. Hope y'all have some good luck in the Southern Pines Nine Hole Cup.